Welcome to another episode of Bitch, I Got My Pots. And today I got a very, very special guest for y'all. One of my favorites to be exact. I am the Daddy Dollars, representing Miami Dade County 305. If you ever in town, make sure you check out Sunday's Eatery, some of the best food on the planet, you hear me? Today what I'm gonna cook for you gonna be some stuffed chicken. Yeah, I'm gonna stuff it with mushrooms, and spinach, and a lot of other stuff. Pay attention, I'm gonna teach you something. You know, I do all this and say all that. But I really hope to motivate women, especially parents, mothers, to get back in the kitchen because y'all ain't doing it no more. Y'all ain't doing it no more. So the day I'm gonna cook is a stuffed chicken. And I know a lot of y'all say, well, how is he gonna stuff a chicken? Well, I'm gonna stuff him all up in there. I'm gonna stuff him all up in there. In the meanwhile, what I'll do is, I'll get my, my stuffing prepared. It's very important that I make sure this thing is seasoned to the tea. I got a fresh baby spinach there. I would lie and tell you I got the expensive mushrooms, but nah, these are cheap ones. But it don't matter where you get them from. They expensive? She said they expensive. I don't think so. I seen some mushroom on TV. We worried about a meal ticket. We ain't gonna never have that on this show. I'm telling y'all right now. So, I got my spinach. I'm trying to get my spinach cooking a little bit, get him right, you know, get him right. A little salt and pepper, won't hurt nothing. And of course, my go-to, my favorite go-to, Sunday season. There's been a lot going on in the news, in the world, in sports, entertainment. But if you keep it locked right here, to this cooking segment, you if you smash that subscribe button, if you follow this page, you gonna know everything that's going on in town. And we ain't messy with it, so you ain't gotta worry about that. Now, it won't be no tea. No, we don't do the tea. We are not messy with it, so you ain't gotta worry about that. Just let my mushrooms just cook a little more. As you see. I remember a couple years ago, you couldn't pay me to eat a mushroom or a yet some spinach. I wasn't on that. You get older, you, 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 after eating so many things all the time, you want to try something different. And that's how I end up where I'm at today. I eat basically almost everything. I know a lot of people say, oh, pork ain't good for you. Then you got people say chicken ain't good for you. Then beef ain't good for you. Well, damn. Is there anything I can eat? Add a little more mushroom to this. Cause we got it all together now. We got this thing cracking up here. I'll turn this eye down back here. This eye back here down. Exactly what can I eat? Can't eat pork, can't eat beef, can't eat chicken. What's strange about that whole thing is the oldest people in my family been eating the same thing all their life. Soon as you stop eating something, you're gonna lose the weight that somebody gonna be whispering, girl, he might be, he might got something. 
Mm-mm. So what I'm gonna finish doing while this cook, I put these gloves on for safety. You can order these on a lot of sites. You can Google them. They're called cutting gloves. I put them on for safety because uh, they protect you for these sharp knives, you know? In the meantime, between time, take my lemon here, get a little sporty with it. Y'all would say it's fancy, but we call it sporty in the side. Give it a little, you know, little, you know, little twist. So I would carefully take all my chicken and I go in there and give him a half of, open him up a little bit, you know. Open him up just a little. We're gonna have to make sure this thing is on point here, you know? Like I said, ladies, I do this cooking thing with hopes of uh, giving you life, making you change your mind about going in the kitchen. Stop ordering takeout all day, feeding them churn chicken nuggets. Churn tired of eating chicken nuggets. Starting to smell a little good in here. Smarting to smell good in here. Ooh. Boy, it's showing out, ain't he? Boy, getting spouty. Check this out. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and take me a break. And I'll be right back with my guests probably too. Huh. Y'all lay around for it. Give me a lot right here. The bitch, I got my pots. I got my pots. I'm Tamara, and this is another episode of Trick Daddy's Bitch, I Got My Pots. Here are the top four highest selling albums in the United States by the man who is the literal definition of rapper successfully turned actor, Will Smith. Number four, Lost and Found, released March 29, 2005, and this party starter was certified gold on July 6, 2005. Number three, Born to Rain, released June 25, 2002, and it was certified gold on July 26, 2002. And this album has the song Black Suits Coming, which was featured on the soundtrack of Will's most known role as Agent J in Men in Black. And don't mess with number two because it's in the wild, wild west. Willennium released November 16th, 1999 and was certified double platinum on December 17th, 1999. Number one is Will Smith's debut album, Big Willie Style, released November 21st, 1997. It was certified nine times platinum on July 20th, 2000. And my favorites on this album is Just the Two of Us and Getting Jiggy With It. But some honorary mentions are Miami, Men in Black, Don't Say Nothing, and It's All Good. And remember, this list is not an opinion. It is based on album sales in the United States. Facts, courtesy of the RIAA. And were you a fan of Will Smith the Rapper? If so, which album did you buy? And what list do you want me to do next? Tell us in the comments. Either way, I'm Tamara, and this has been another Top 4 on Trick Daddy's Bitch, I Got My Pot. I got my pot. Welcome back, y'all. Another episode of Bitch, I Got My Pots. And today I'm cooking stuffed chicken. Y'all wonder why I don't usually cook stuffed nothing. But I told him, I said, ask that baby what, what she wanted to eat. And if y'all know me, y'all know that this next guest is one of my favorite people in the world. I used to fake go with her when she didn't even know who I was. I used to lie and tell people I go with her. Y'all, uh huh. Give a warm welcome to the lovely Miss Jess Hilarious. How, How you, you doing, doing baby? I'm good. Oh my God. Don't be telling these people I know who you are. I've been 
know who you are. We well, well, I, well, well, we didn't know each other. No, we didn't know each other, but right. who don't know who you are? We The day I'm cooking this stuff. Stop checking for me? Yeah, That's I'm, what I I'm need. stuffing it with mushroom. Yes. You know, what, what don't you eat? So listen, I, I, I've been on like, I try to be like healthy. I try to go vegan. That didn't last long. Then I try to do pescatarian because, you know, people say you can't eat chicken, can't eat all of that. But, you know. I don't know if I can curse on. Can I curse on you? Yeah, you can curse. Fuck people. It really don't yeah. fucking matter because I like, I like you know, animals. Cool. They eat humans sometimes. So sometimes they I think eat humans all the time, especially yeah. in the ocean. Yeah. So it's, you know, we eat I, that. I, I I I eat. You know, I'm the president of the eating booty game. I definitely ain't gonna never stop eating no pork because I'm gonna be the, the CEO and president of the eating booty game. Right. Right. <laughs> Ain't no way I stop. But but like I was telling the people earlier, right. the older people in my family, mm -hmm. the elders, though they call them in the, in the south. They call them elders up the north too. Well, but y'all sound, now, now listen, y'all sound so much like the south, <laughs> I, but y'all sound more like the south than anybody I know from any parts of the uh, of the East Coast. For real? Y'all yes, y'all are y'all are like a country crazy like us. A country no, no, I will give you that. I'll give you country crazy. But DC right next to us. I think we think DC country. But DC say we country. Yeah, what DC call y'all Bamas. Yeah, yeah, we ain't that. No. Nah. I don't think we that. I know everybody I've, I've asked everybody from Baltimore to call you. I was like, call them till I said what's up. <laughs> People start. People think. People think I was. I was crazy for a long time. I was like, <laughs> and I want. I want to thank you for being a very funny, talented well, comedian. Cause we don't have much. And people get mad at me. I was on the um, Breakfast Club the other day. Oh Lord. And I was telling some people who I didn't think was funny. Uh, why? <laughs> like I, Pat Williams was funny one time. He was not one time. One time. Trick now. I, well, no. you, okay, well, I'm telling you. And, okay, you know, well, you're paying. Okay, go ahead. He was now, funny I mean, one I'm, time. I'm going to tell you now. I'm going to tell you what, when he was funny. Okay, when? Remember that little boy had him in a chokehold? That was funny as fuck. That's... That was funny. I'm, I'm thinking we're talking about jokes. Uh, no, he, he never been funny There's with no, no jokes. jokes. Cat Williams? No, not to me. Well, then you I'm, also I'm, say I mean, Beyonce I, can't I, sing, so I can't trust your judgment. I'm a, I'm a, listen to what I'm saying. I am yeah. a Red Fox. Mm -hmm. Eddie mm -hmm. Murphy. Okay. I'm 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 a Robin Harris. You like raw? Yeah. Real raw. Borderline. Yeah. I'm talking about borderline. Almost get you kicked off the air, like they did on your Hall type. Yeah. Raw. Yeah. So you like my shit? That's why you like my shit. I love. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay. I love it. And right. A lot of times I come to your show. Uh huh. And you never you let would, me know you there. No, I, and I hate when people say something because I, I leave. Yeah. Because even though I'm a Libra, I was like, no, like don't say nothing, don't tell nobody. I'm, I just come to see your show. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. you gotta say my damn name. Mm -hmm. Like my sister don't went to your show mm -hmm. a couple weeks ago. Yep, I was there. And they were like, you going? I was like, nah, I ain't going. <laughs> Cause I know they they play too much. Who play too much? My sister them. They they oh. they will get they will try oh, to get your attention yeah. to let you know that oh, trick is here. <laughs> And I like to give people, you know what I'm saying, they own, yeah. let people have their own shine, do your own thing. Well, I appreciate you. It's, it's people like you, Marlon Wayans. Yeah. I like uh, the Benji Brown from, from here. Yes. I like um, Doodle -doo Brown. You like Doodle -doo Brown? I love Doodle -doo Brown. Okay. I love Doodle -doo Brown. What kind of cheese did you put in there? Mozzarella cheese. Oh, okay. Cause I'm glad. I'm, I mean, I'm glad I like it. Cause you damn sure ain't asking me what kind of cheese I like. I mean, my my bad, but mm -hmm. we're a little different from Baltimore dudes, though. <laughs> we don't, don't ask for permission. You don't give a damn. You like anyway. Um, yeah, we so, don't ask uh, for permission for everything. No, that, that, no. Okay. It don't matter where you're from. It's all about the preference. Do you cook? What's your favorite? I meal? do. I do cook. I cook everything. I don't even listen. Growing up, I used to like. Fried chicken, macaroni and cheese, and collard greens. That, that, those are my favorite food. Like that was my favorite hey, meal. Are you a potato salad person? I am, but it depends. I, but, and I, you know what that means? I don't like potato salad with onions. Okay, I can do without. 
Oh, you know what? I just, I just thought of something, too. What? And I know ever since uh, the situation with, with Will slapping, slapping old boy, right? Oh, yeah. A lot of people have their opinions. Yeah. But I just remember mm -hmm. that the comedian family is like a, a brother sisterhood. Yeah. So you're supposed to respect, pay homage, yeah. and, and do anything that is possible to support your fellow comedians, whether yeah. they're female, male, whether they're white, black, Asian, or yeah, whatever, whatever. Right? Mm -hmm. And my take on it, and I'm not even asking you for your opinion, I'm giving mm -hmm. you my take on it. Mm -hmm. I saw you well, your own t on your own on, on, on a, you got a TV show out the gate. Uh -huh. Ain't too many people did that shit. Yeah. Okay, congratulations on that. Thank you. And I see you all the time. You be um on Wild and Night with Nick yes, Cannon. Yes. One of my favorites on there. Yes, okay. thank you. But you've hosted things and there's a teleprompter mm -hmm. that usually tell jokes mm -hmm. and that's and it's written by writers. Yeah. You be corny. Uh, why are European guys, yeah, I'm gonna say, guy, yeah. and they don't have a limit to how far they will go with a joke. Yeah, because they're not the ones saying it. As a comedian, I'm telling you, if I was a comedian or I was hosting a show and you were in the show, I would never let them put nothing on the teleprompter talking bad about you. You were telling me that you wouldn't? No, I wouldn't do that. About me? No, not about you. Somebody else, Somebody yeah. Else. Okay. Wendy Williams, yeah. Okay. No, that's my homegirl too. Don't get it twisted. But yeah, I know Wendy cool. Wendy cool, but but I know Wendy is a person. That's what she do. Yeah. So she can take that. Boom on the chain. You ain't gonna get smacked over Wendy. Conner. Right. Yeah. But now me, I said that to say this. What? And they claim that Chris Rock, that that wasn't in the script, and that Chris Rock freestyled that. Okay. I respect the fact he didn't press charges, mm -hmm. but you gotta fight back, man. Yeah, on you gotta fight back on the stage. That I don't give a damn. Well, you or, or, or meet me, or meet me in the back afterwards yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't care. Like that, you got, you that's, gotta that's, fight back. Yeah, I, I feel like that's what Will should have did. Will should have been like, oh, because right. he was right. He, he was, he was cracking the fuck up when he heard it. He, he liked true. that little GI Jane joke. Okay, she didn't like it. So, okay, that's another thing, right? Yeah. That's another thing with uh -huh. all the other rumors and, and God, because you know people stay in people's business. Uh -huh. with I mean, well, people media. stay putting this shit out there too, so. Right, yeah, well. Yeah. So anyway. with all this other stuff that's going on, right? Yeah. I kind of feel like Will looked to the side and saw that Jada was like, you laughing at this clown? Yeah, exactly. Oh, you thought that was funny? Yeah. I don't know if Jada called, threatened to call the young boy that night or I don't know what happened, but what young boy you talking about? The, the young boy, August. Yeah. Oh. Hey yo. I don't know what happened, but that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know if that's what happened. Oh, what the fuck like, you doing there? <laughs> Sing? Like what are you going there? It's like this. He totally changed the way he felt about that joke. Yeah, and I felt like it was a little dramatic. I did. I mean, listen. I love Will. I love Chris. I love Jada. But I feel like it, it was worse things that could have been said about her um, to get the nigga smacked. I really feel like he should have never been smacked for that shit. Um, I do feel like at the Oscars and shit, like, you know what I mean? And Not the, that we always supposed to be old, you know, perfect right, right, and all right. that shit. You, no, right, you know, still you be were, you, but at the same it's time. A, it's, a play, it's a time and place for yeah, everything. what the fuck you doing? Like after, you know, oh, we'll be right back after this commercial, you'd be like, yo, I ain't like what you said. Now, I ain't really, you know, I ain't like Give a man time, said. give him time to apologize or say, Just oh, something. well, or, or whatever. Or something. Yeah, right. so whether he made it up or read it on a teleprompter or not, I don't think it should have got him smacked on, I mean, at the Oscars. And Jada thought that shit was funny. She laughed, loud shit, when he uh, smacked him. I, I don't, I, the part, I'm gonna tell you the part that really, really irked me and it always happened. Yeah. As soon as we get mad, as soon as we react, we're going through something. We falling yeah. apart. Can't yeah. nobody have feelings. Yeah. Like I told Antoine, he's one of the producers of the show. Okay. He always take pictures with the artists. So he didn't know how I feel about you. I told that nigga, if you take a picture with her, nigga, it's gonna be a problem. Oh, so wow. he's not gonna take a picture with you. Okay. I'm just letting you know that right now. That's not fair. 
No, but life ain't fair. No. And speaking speaking back on funny comedians, uh -huh. your son is the smartest funny comedian short one out there. Thank you. He 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 go Thank he gonna be big. Yes, he actually turned ten yesterday. Thank you. Yeah, he, we we need to get him on TV now because I don't want to see him grow up too fast. You know, that, know. that's crazy though. Know. That's unfair to him. He don't want to do it though. He likes sports. He likes football. He said I don't want to act. I asked him. Nick Cannon even Man, I see time. him on I and see him was. on a on a TV show yeah. as a as a as a little kid. Yeah. And he's a natural. Yeah, thank you. Man, that's that's a little sporty look. Thank you. He get it from me. He get a couple yeah, yeah, of things. Yeah, yeah, I, I like him. Like, like, he he, he, he swagged out. You always keep him fresh. Thank you. But you don't do too much. No, you can't no. do too much. No. He still uh, go to uh well he goes to a charter school, but I still want him in that city school, like I, right. I want him to know both sides of life, you know what I mean? I grew up in urban schools, Baltimore City Public Schools, and then I got a chance to go to a predominantly white high school, since I was a bad teenager, so my mom sent me to a white high school, and at first, I ain't like the shit, and so I became the most popular, because I was like one of like 12 black kids when I got up there. So I learned two ways of living, you know right. what I mean? And I want to give him both. I still want him to know. He's from Baltimore City, born and raised, but I still want him to know other, you know, other shit too, so. I be, I be getting mad when you be, you, I ain't gonna say nothing, but I don't want you doing no more skits with Buddy either. Who's Buddy? I don't even do skits with people. With Drip. With Drip. Ah! I don't, uh-uh, I don't want for Drip. That's it for you, Drip. Oh wow! And I, I support Drip and everything he's doing too. Yeah. But when it comes to you, I'm not supporting you. Well, look, he off the internet now. He said he's he not doing no more skits on the internet. Why? I don't know. The don't money know. good. Yeah. In, in the meanwhile. Yeah. But he's been getting the other ways. So we like, look. I think he, he don't like the internet. He, he, I, I never. But for him not to, for him to say he didn't like it. I never seen nobody work as hard as I never seen as many skits. Like he got to be doing five or ten of them shits a day. Listen, he does. He has like a whole production, whole you know, and you know he's actually my friend. Not only is right, he might ask, he's my friend. Right, and you know he um he works very hard. Production schedule. He shoots. I'm talking about skit after skit per day. Whole production team, editing, all of it. He has a schedule. So that if y'all do hard. not follow this lady right here, go follow her right now on all social media platforms. Thank and you. also go follow her ex. And keep an eye on him. Keep an eye on that. Uh, keep an eye on Buddy. He just, Country he, Rain, a.k.a. Drift. Yes. It, you don't even have to say the ex. Just say follow Comedian okay. Country Wayne. That's it. <laughs> if y'all see him in a picture too close or something, let me know. <laughs> what is this? What is this? That's uh, actually I made something for you. I, I had that's what I was doing when mm -hmm. you was over there getting ready. Okay. So I don't know in Baltimore. I don't know if y'all got if y'all got crazy um like violent moms. Cause our our daddies in Miami were uh, verbally they were verbally and physically and mentally abused by our mamas. Cause our women down here are very violent. Okay, yeah, I know. This the skillet. First thing I ever seen by the skillet, if my grandma knocked somebody across the head while her boyfriend across the head with it. But the good thing about this is, it could go in the oven and on the stove. Okay. So I'm gonna put this in the oven. I already got that heated at 350. I'm gonna put that in the oven. Did your grandmother ever go to jail for that shit? That's oh, no, like, no. no. All right. but I, and, I, and I think, I, I, my grandma was South Carolina. I don't know if she had oh, a, a group lady on her side or what, but she okay. never went to jail for that. But I heard, my, okay. I, heard my grand, I heard my granddaddy wasn't, wasn't too nice and friendly. He turned her that way. Oh. So, you know what I'm saying? Okay. R.I.P. Grandma, she the real one. But I made wow. a salad for you. Okay. Because they didn't tell you. They was like, she only wants stuffed chicken. I'm like, so she ain't eating no rice or nothing? They ain't even asking it else I would have wanted. You know what I mean? You could have get anything you want, baby. Anything you want. But you made me a salad. Now it better be good. Oh, it's, what it's, I look like? like oh, I'm on a diet or something? It's probably one of the best salads you ever ate in your life. All right, we'll see. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah. Nah, yeah, you don't even know why I was laughing. I could have been laughing because it looked like a white people no. salad. You gonna say no? Yeah. Ain't no white people salad look like that. Okay, all right. Yeah, I, I strawberries. Understand. I'm looking at strawberries, tomatoes, kiwi. cucumbers, kiwi. I found what I see. Um, lettuce, and that's it. That's sweet butter lettuce. Oh, so, oh, okay. Black and, people and, and, always try to make something sound. And how we say, and let me tell you how we say this. Sweet butter. That's how we say it on the, on the page. How we say it in Florida. Cucumbers. 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 Okay, I was going to say, because I don't like croutons. No, cucumbers. Okay, we'll see. Sound like you was trying to say croutons. No, cucumbers. 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 Okay. Oh, is that blackberries? Raspberries? Yeah. Okay, blackberries, raspberries. All right, we shall see. With, and we also, you got some cherry tomatoes. Okay. Now, these are different. This is raspberry vinaigrette. So we'll take a little bit of each one of these. Okay. Raspberry vinaigrette. Okay. I gave you more than me because you thicker than me. Okay. I look pregnant, but you you look pregnant from the back. So no, I'm just saying. Hey, what is this? This is balsamic vinegar. Balsamic, okay. This I actually a, make my turkey wings with balsamic vinegar. Uh, you gotta cook for me one day. I do. When you get this, whenever you're in town and you don't want to go to the restaurant, just call me and I'm gonna cook for you whatever you want to eat. Okay. I'm for real. Thank you. I know. What is that last one? You ain't even tell me what it was. That's another vinegar. Another vinegar. Yeah, a secret vinegar. I swear it's vinegar, but vinegar. We're gonna call it that today. Where are the. Um, uh, this your kitchen. You talking about where? Trick, I hate to uh, bust your uh, date up. I know you're on a private date right now. But we got some just hilarious Prosecco. Just yes, hilarious Prosecco. Oh, a yeah. date? Y'all not playing. We got we got to get her right. Just hilarious Hey, Prosecco. see, what you supposed to do, see, though? What? You supposed to. Damn. Oh, okay. There's only two glasses. Yeah, it's only two glasses. For me I'm and her. I'm just Damn, I ain't gonna okay. lie. coming in. I'm coming out. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. All right. Yeah. And I don't want no. Don't. I, I don't never want to see. <laughs> nobody making you no damn salad. Ain't nobody. <laughs> not even the people at the restaurant. Ain't nobody gonna make me no salad. I don't not, eat salad. Not even. I don't give a damn if it's a chef at the restaurant. You better not make no salad. I don't even eat salad. You ever been to salad. Trick Restaurant? I have, yes. Mm -hmm. It's fed me well a couple times, yes. Whoa. Let me just pop this there's bottle real quick. There's a tang. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I ain't got a piece of salmon in the going time. I just want to ask you one question, though. No. I'm just like asking what? for a friend. What? What would you cook for somebody if you was on a date with them or a dinner date? Asking for a friend. What would I cook? Yeah. Well, it depends. It depends on what they like. They eat everything. I mean, Every everything. Day. Who's your friend? <laughs> I okay. know him. You know yeah. him? Is it a good friend? <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, well, more than likely. Listen, because he's not going to ever be like, oh, yeah, a friend. <laughs> um, <laughs> whatever. Whatever. I, I love turkey wings. That's my favorite thing to make. Turkey wings. I like to make lasagna. I like wow. uh, uh, seafood Alfredo. Ooh. I love it. I do. But I love fried chicken, collard greens, and mac. Y'all ain't even toast like toast. Toast. I'm sorry. The salad is good. I'm so sorry. Let me take another bite. Then we can toast. What are we going to toast to? First date. A first date. Yeah, we're on a date. OK. <laughs> is he with us? He with us? No, I'm, not, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Mm -hmm. I just want to ask you one That's more a driver. question. That's a driver. One more question. He's the driver. If you was in the verses. Mm -hmm. Who would you battle against as far as comedians? Because, I mean, one of my friends said that you are the funniest right now. I mean, you say you're funnier than Cap. I, I, see me, I don't, want, I don't want you to work hard for nothing. I don't want you to work hard for nothing. So I want yeah. you to go up against T Tiffany Haddish. All right, I, I love that That'd be easy. <laughs> that is my That'd be very easy. <laughs> Now, when you say go up against, what do you mean? You like mean a versus. Versus I mean, battle. Okay. Versus battle. But listen, are we roasting or are we just doing sex? Roasting. Because if I'm doing. Because I'm going to tell I you. I can do my 30 minutes, she go up and do her 30 minutes. So I'm but either another. way, I'm going to tell you, you good at roasting. Well, she uh -huh. You good at roasting and yeah. you good at You let Justina Valentine get you, though. Where? Where? Oh, what? Well. I'm not. I mean, that I, mean, that, I know that, where, but that, which that, episode where? What joke? <laughs> 
<laughs> what exact minute in the episode? No, I'm just oh, alright, yeah, you best not. <laughs> I don't no, even, I don't even know her. Justina, my girl, though. Yeah. I don't no, know Justina. She can out rap me. Yeah, she got rap you. You should do an album, though. Justina, anyway, that's the white girl with the red hair. What yeah. were we talking about? Yeah, she cool. I, that's the only other white girl I like with red hair, except for that girl on the windy side. Why? How do y'all deal <laughs> I with this? this guy, man. I Production, this guy. how do y'all deal with this every I, day? I just don't get it. Okay, so the, I mean, comedian, the comedian that I would pick, mm-hmm. gotta be my brother, my baby brother, pet dog, DC Young Fly. Gotta be. Oh, if I can go against the OG. Yeah, you're a yeah, DC Young Fly. Absolutely. Hey, come on. But that's, but that's DC my, Young Fly is a different kind. That's the only person that can stand. DC Young Fly is a, is a different kind of funny. He's like. Okay. Like if he stayed in Miami, he would have stayed in fights cracking on bitches in school. That's what we call it, cracking on them. <laughs> like. That's what we call it. Yeah, so. Yeah. He was in Atlanta. See? Yeah. <laughs> he was. But he's like. You much funnier than that, though. I mean, I'm just saying. For a friend, I think you're much funnier than that. Listen, I appreciate she you. She don't need no more compliments from you. Two right. minutes, you wait, she did a movie call. But if I could do. She don't need no more compliments from you. If I could, I, listen, if I could do, before you ask me that. If I could stand in the ring for the OJ. Yeah. Versus battle. It would be. No, I can't, I can't do that. I was gonna say Bernie Mac. Wanda Sykes. Me up. Oh no, not a woman. Not, no, no woman. Oh, you want to go against a man? Hell yeah. Man, it it would be nice. uh, 90s Martin, 90s Raw. Now, Martin. hold it. I'm glad yeah. you said that. And Martin. Big Mac, That's if you're watching, it I want you to know this. That's what it be. I think that the Martin show was corny. Oh my God. I'm, I'm always, and people think I just be Take trolling. Take <laughs> trolling right now. People think I be trolling, but listen, Take I never thought, I never thought that no. Martin was, okay, here's the first one. Are you crazy? The, the same reason why I love you, here's the, here's the first reason why I had a problem with Martin. Mm-hmm. They made it Gina and Pam should have switched roles because she wasn't a, she wasn't dark skin. I love chocolate, mm-hmm. and she wasn't fine, and I love fine. Mm-hmm. Plus, Gina was alright. She had no hips, but she alright. Right. So I, I didn't like that. Right. Mm-hmm. You didn't like no hips. No. And then I hate when the dude, I hate when the dudes have to play the other role. The rainbow room. Oh, okay, no. I, feel, I, I, okay. I don't like. I, so I don't Shanae like that. Right. I, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't think okay. that. Like Wanda. I, I just don't. I don't like when the dude it plays that because there's people out there that's already like that. That 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 could have been their role. Right. Not oh, back okay. in the day. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, like yeah. yeah. I, I agree because I told because. Yeah. Shanae and Wanda. That was close. I agree because I know growing up in Liberty City mm-hmm. in the '70s and the '80s with me, mm-hmm. you had to be 30 to come out the closet. Yeah, was the age limit on coming out. Yeah, we because they're trying to beat, they're trying to beat it at you. But damn, what if I get to thirty and I don't, you know, by then it's like it's too late. And I'm going back the, the other my way. Sister, now, my sister, I have a sister that was that was gay since she was middle school, mm-hmm. and she's two years younger than me, and she have a twenty one year old. Mm-hmm. Explain that to me. Because people, just because you gay don't mean you don't want no damn kids. But she have a mustache and a beard and all. And, and, and that and, works for her. And I don't call home Father's Day, she get offended. Really? Yes, like mm. she is, she like. Now is she transgender or is she just gay? No, she's just gay. She like, it ain't like, um like <laughs> I, I know there's, there's fake people that do mm-hmm. it. And there's people that fake it that make it bad for the people that really live that lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Like it's people like. um Oh, she living it. You the said dude, she got The dude that was on the weeds like... box, what did they? Bruce Jenner. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's fake. Cause when Dennis Rodman asked to take him out, he ain't go out with Dennis. Dennis Rodman got them with him size 18. Dennis Rodman would have handled it. I wouldn't go out with Dennis Rodman if he asked me to go out. Dennis Shit, Rodman would have gave your ass to business. Just because I'm gay don't mean I'm, I'm listen, just listen, as Bruce or Caitlin, whoever, just Bruce. because I'm gay don't mean that I'm gonna go at anybody to holler at me. Y'all gotta even stop it, looking okay, at that it, like it, that. It, it everybody even, gay didn't attract this. It's to not everybody. even about being gay, it's about, okay, you changed your sex. Mm. But when they got to the front, you got ready to swipe your swipe off, mm-hmm. you were like, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna hold on to this. What the hell you gonna do with that? So you're a swap out he artist. Probably, he probably didn't want that shit. He about to swap out on it. Listen, if you gay, you gay. 
that if I go, if I say I'm gay, right, and I go switch this shit out for one of them you got, it's, I honestly don't think that's gay no more. I'm recreating oh, straight. Yeah, right. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to be it. What you now think I'm trying to be sex? him. So fuck if she changes her sex, she's not going to change her sex. I'm not going to let her change her I sex. Never, I never Don't said. ask dumb questions See, like now that. Going somewhere. Now you're getting disrespect. Why would you? No, we why would not. I, why would I'm I imagine you? Why would I? I'm glad you had no twin brother because I wouldn't like that nigga. <laughs> I, I have a twin brother. That's your twin brother? That's my twin. Oh, what's up, my boy? <laughs> we cool. What's up, my boy? How you feel? That, that's right. Yeah, he's not one like that nigga. You a lot of that. That's my problem. Man. That's crazy. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, so we would have had two of your little boys. That shit was good. Because twins run in my family, too. Well, that's great. Trick, trick. Hey, but Trick, can you fix me a salad? I want to get out of here. Before I get out of here, I just want to commend you. Thank you. I think that you built up your whole your whole career on your own. Like, we like the Absolutely. work ethic yeah. that you have. Yes. You stay doing stuff on the internet. Oh my God. I mean, you've done more than a lot of people. Yes. The movie you had was a movie called what? Two Minutes of Fame? Mm-hmm. Well, I think you stretched that to like an hour. I think. Mean, <laughs> yeah, CO, you, you be look, Mr. CO. Yes. You doing too much compliment. Okay, I'm gonna compliment. Man, just give me some she salad. stretched it to the hour. What kind of, what kind <laughs> of cold talk is that? He's saying because he wants some salad. salad. But what it. kind of cold it's talk was that? I think you stretched that to an hour. What kind of. Come on, man. Right, I don't know if I was supposed to be like. That's good. You like, stress it to a long time, what? but I mean, like even longer than that. I'm gonna tell you, you don't have to be offended. I'm offended. <laughs> man, you yeah. know what? I'm gonna just leave y'all. Yeah, don't be talking about when she stretched so nothing to the. He only gave you one type of vinaigrette. Nah, you gonna get nah, more. Get him all of it. That shit was so good. Man, you made that from scratch. That fucking salad was good. Wait till you taste this stuffed chicken. Okay. Wow. It should be ready in about So I don't got no size. I just got stuffed chicken. I got some brown rice. Okay, good. Good. I got some brown rice. I mean, I'm geeky. I can eat right, just rice and butter. Let me have some mushroom soup. Mushroom? But the mushroom don't go with that. I didn't ask for the, for the mushrooms like, this is my on mine. Right here. But yet, I just had one and I was ready to eat the rest of them. So we lucky. Okay. Because they was good. So what's, let me ask you this, Jess. So what you got new? What you got coming up? What, what's... Okay, so I do have a podcast. I am with iHeartMedia under Black Effect. I have Carefully Reckless. That's my podcast. You can catch that every Wednesday. Um, I also have a talk series on YouTube. That's called Reckless Discussions. That is with my crazy ass family. My son, dad, for one, is on there. My twin brother is here, the one that you say that you don't like. So um, I changed my mind. Oh, okay. My cousin, my cousin, and um, it's me. And we sitting there, we're going back and forth about like edgy topics and the stuff that people really be scared to speak on and shit like that. That's why it's called Reckless like a, like It's like a classy version of Just With The Mess. There you go. But ain't too classy. But you know, sometimes my cousin be trying to act classy, but you know, that bitch ain't classy. But you know, it is what it is. But yeah, we we have that and we're taking that on tour. I also, um, I'm in talks with Big Project with 50 Cent. Um, And I got, man, it's two things, two projects I cannot speak about. Because yes, I had to sign NDAs, but that's what happened when you move on to the big films. You can't really speak about it like that. So I'm actually proud of it. I don't know if it's something like, but I was I, I was doing radio. Okay. I was doing radio and then our two year contract was up and it was time for them to pay us again. And I was gonna I was gonna double up and then they came and said, Okay, we be doing layoffs. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know they gave me a um what you Severance. call it? Severance. Severance package. That, that's, that's what you call it. See he graduated. I went to prison in ninth grade. That is so wow. All right. See, see, so, so, uh, <laughs> hey, no, yo. but I, I use that as a excuse. I, but I, I, I just, I like to mess with people. They be like, well, why you didn't text me back? I be like, baby, I can't spell. Yeah, I like like a rug when it's time. But listen, wow, so, true. and then that, I, I, when I got the severance check, they was like, oh, it's sign here for your check. Uh-huh. You knew how to write that day. But that was something I signed would mean that I can't work for the competition for another year. They could have kept that little bit of money. Wow. I went to the strip club about two weeks in a row, throwing it up. They thought I had the sweat. After the sweat was gone, I was like, man, I'm finna go over here. I'm finna go over here to 105. I'm finna go over here to 103.5. I'm finna go to the beat. And they was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
My lawyer was like, well, I, you can't do that. I was like, what you mean? <laughs> I can, can do what I want to do. No, you can't. And they was like, no, you signed it. That's a, I got to get you some of that. That's yeah. Sunday seasoning. Yes, I cook everything with personal seasoning. With Sunday that? seasoning. Sunday seasoning. Where are you going to go? You said you was going. I need a you fork. Look like I'm you looking. looking for something else to I'm eat. I'm looking for a fork. Like, come on now. Ooh, that look nice, Trick. <laughs> he got the whole bottle. Hey, Trick. Still <laughs> looking for shit. Just hilarious. <laughs> Prosecco. <laughs> See. My girl asked you to go. All right, bro. You know, y'all have a good I time. I can call you my girl while you're here, right? Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> Thank you. Mm, so good. Now, this is where it gets very interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you got it. You, you got it. What? And your son plays what? Football? Yes. He plays football. He plays out. Um, he's a wide receiver. Now, no disrespect, but y'all don't got a lot of football players coming out of Baltimore. Now, football is like a Florida no, thing, not really, man. Yeah. All right, it's, it's, it's other places that so be he probably football could. too. But all right. So relax. if I get you a place down here, he probably could play. Probably learn how to play real good down here, you know. And yeah. uh, I'm a good yeah. stepdaddy too, you know. I'm just I'm just throwing that out there. First of all, are you divorced yet? It don't matter. I get that. I make that shit happen. That, we ain't doing that. I make that shit happen immediately. That shit happened before. <laughs> Last nigga said that shit. <laughs> shit. Oh, Get my God. ass on shave rooms. I'm a home wrecker. <laughs> Bitch, what? That looks so good. They say give us stuff, chicken. I was like, yes. like now when I do this, they go, they ain't gonna believe. They gonna be like, well, he ain't never cooked that for nobody else. Okay, well that's all right. And you the third woman I had on here, and I ain't never, I haven't enjoyed myself as much as I. Who the first two? Uh, uh Rennie Rucci. Yeah, it's my girl. And okay. then we had Princess on here, Ray J. Okay, Princess Love. Yes. Yeah. Ain't no Ray J. He's nothing. Ray, uh -uh. Ray J. Princess X. Love. Yeah, well we know her as Princess Love. Without the Ray J. Damn, that shit look good. Oh my God. Uh, I, people always question, do could he really cook? And some, some old coons, some old coons out of Miami. Mm -hmm. Females. They talking about- um, <laughs> Not the old coons is females. Oh yeah, cause these women down here, they do anything a dude to do. Okay. They just like y'all Baltimore women. <laughs> I know you got a lot of homegirls doing time in the feds. Hey yo. No, I ain't never had a whole bunch of homegirls, but I got a lot of homeboys doing time in the feds, guys. Well, when we say homegirls, we mean, we say homegirl, homeboy, we mean from your home, from where you from. Oh, okay, yeah. Now you see, yes. I'm gonna teach you all that, man. Oh, you gonna oh. Yeah. You wear a size eight. eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, I'm, I'm gonna get you something nice before you leave. I'm gonna get you a number so I can give you her gift, okay? You gonna be my You gonna <laughs> me and you gonna be good. Whatever you need, I got you, bruh. I'm not playing. Yes. Look, I got these same forks. But you got good taste. These are the best forks ever. Best. Come on. Oh wait, can I start yet? Or oh, what? Wow. I mean, you can do whatever you want to do. I'm just hungry. Quick trick before you start. I mean, okay, I'm okay. saying. I go in right now. I gotta say prayer. You gotta make us. That's what I'm saying. And I need a piece of chicken, and I'm gonna leave. You gonna leave again? Okay. That's why I, Man, just give me you know one piece. I'm gonna say prayer. I say I'm gonna say. You know I don't like saying the grace. No, I'm gonna say it today. You don't want to hear what she gonna say? No, I'm gonna no. say it. Okay. I want to hear what I got to say. Damn. <laughs> I thought you left. I thought you left. Yeah, I did. But eat back again. <laughs> yeah, I, I did. Back. Yeah. Chicken, then I'm leaving. Gosh. After this prayer. Right. Ooh, that look nice. That's ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh my. Damn. Oh. Come on, say it. I please. know. Mm. Come on, put your hand. Okay. You put your hand on top of mine. Don't touch it. Okay. Lord, I thank you for the food. 
I pray you continue to give us much love, good health, success, Lord. Thank you for bringing Jess here. Thank you for her hands being real soft. And I don't know if she's seen my fruit roll up challenge, but I want to know I dedicate that to her. Lord, in the name of God, I pray. Amen. Hey, lady. Amen. <laughs> hey, thank you for coming. I'll yeah. see you later. Y'all have a good time. Thank you. Do you need some hot sauce? I do. I want some hot sauce. Y'all ain't shit. Y'all ain't shit for telling me to come to this. Mm. Okay. This is so good, like. My shrimp is so good. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is really good. It's really good. Yes, oh my God. Yeah, I, I had to make sure. <laughs> you had to make sure it was real good. Yeah. Here's the, I don't know what hot sauce y'all use, but we use the crystals. We use crystals too. Okay. It's a lot of things, uh, uh, but right, I was just gonna say there's a lot of things I wouldn't have mm, to. Don't, don't underestimate. That's good. That's good. Mm. That's good mm. though. We know how to eat good. We know how to cook good. No. This is good. Y'all remember, if you ever in the Miami area, stop by Sunny's Eatery. We the original home of the fried ribs. That is so good. You heard her, she said it's good. Yeah, Sunny's Eatery is good shit. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. Follow my girl Jess on all platforms. Make sure you support everything she do. And y'all do get a DM. <laughs> I mean it, damn it. Until we meet again. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I gotta say this right. Just know, bitch, I got my pots. <laughs> <laughs>